So sometimes you're going to hear the words axial and radial, and it's good to know what those words mean. We talk about it with scroll compressors quite a bit. This is a cylinder. It's just the inside of a capacitor, so I'm going to use it as a demonstration. But from the center to the edge, that would be the radius. You learn that in, in middle school, right? That's the radius. And so this is the radial forces, the side-to-side -side forces on this particular cylinder. And then the axial forces are along the axis. So the axis is actually what it turns on. That's the center. And so that would be the up and down forces in a compressor. So radial are the side to side forces, axial are up and down. And so if you imagine my, my hands are the, the scroll plates in a compressor, the top plate is fixed and then the bottom part oscillates a little bit. So it kind of does this. And so the forces that force them together side to side, those would be the radial forces. And the forces that force them together top to bottom, those would be the axial forces. Now Copeland talks about compliance and the ability to comply means the ability to adjust. And so if you had some liquid refrigerant that got into the compressor, uh, you could actually have some uh, compliance, some movement on the side to side and the up and down or a contaminant or something. And we'll see this when we have, you know, very high pressure conditions. The compressor can actually uh, go into bypass where the top plate uh, actually moves up a little bit and it, so it can axial, axially comply. It can, it can pop up. In the case of a digital scroll, Copeland does that on purpose. So it uses an external solenoid. When that external solenoid energizes, it causes axial compliance. So it causes it to separate and that unloads the compressor, it keeps it from pumping. And then when you de-energize the solenoid, then it goes back into its normal, normal mode uh, and functions properly. So generally speaking, they're forcing them together radially, side to side, and they're forcing them together axially, which is top to bottom. Again, radius, side to side, axis, up and down. Hope that helps.